Welcome back, folks. We are sciencing. I set up the last of the deuterium fuel rods. Or oh, no, no, deuterium fuel rods. The orbital collectors in the last one, and they are collecting deuterium. And that is all fine and dandy. And we are researching at a reasonable pace, but nowhere near the 30 science that we want to be doing and I have to admit we're not gonna get to the 30 science a second that we wanted to do and the reason we're not gonna do that is because I just feel like we have been very uh, well, I have. You've just been watching. It's me who has been uh, doing everything uh, and appreciating your views a lot. But I just feel like I've I've been doing it all wrong. Um, I've been doing it all wrong. Now these big big lines here of science, sure they're fine. Uh, and and I will probably be doing something like this in the future as well but I have been not I, I have not been organized enough in the way I am doing my building uh, I, I need to in my view I, I need to say okay I need X amount of this so I'm going to build the facilities to build X amount of this and I need to do that from early game so and by early game I mean after we get to the possibility of having our 30 belts uh, 30 items a second belts because there, there's no point in optimizing until then, in my opinion. But also, I feel that doing orbital or uh, what, what are they called? Interstellar logistic stations everywhere is, is not an optimal way of doing it. Uh, as we learned in the last 10 episodes or something. Uh, actually setting up a hub uh, at, at one of the poles demanding all of the stuff that you need for everything that is being built on that planet and then just having uh, planetary stations on it is probably a better way to go I think because they take up a lot more lot less space you can have them very close together so I think that's something I want to try and like uh, when we start building let's let's say graviton lenses then we build for freaking 30 graviton lenses or however many we need immediately and then they're just being built there period uh, for that one product that we want to get to so for green science we want to get for instance uh, 30 graviton lenses and uh, 30 quantum chips a second so just build it and actually we don't, we don't even need that because those build 30 a second so 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 one and one builds two so so we actually only need 15 and we've way overdone that uh, but but some of the some of the prior needs to build those we have not done right and I'm okay with that uh, I mean uh, this was the first playthrough 
We're learning the game. It's a freaking fantastic game. I mean, just... Okay, let's... Let's fly out here. Let's fly over to the Dyson Sphere, because... Damn. We're not going to complete the Dyson Sphere in this one. Uh, We're not going to do it. We're going to do it in streams. And it, we're going to start over. This particular Dyson Sphere is just about as done as it's going to get. Because we're going to start a stream series where we start from the beginning. And, and, and we do things more efficiently we do them better we do them more aesthetically pleasing perhaps hopefully and uh, aesthetics is isn't really my strong suit to be honest but, uh, I'll try to do it as aesthetically pleasing as possible and uh, what I'd like to do as well if possible, I, I don't know if it is possible, but there are planets that are tightly locked to, to the stars. So finding a planet that is tightly locked to a star, that is where I want to build my Dyson Sphere because then I can put 50% of my planet to just doing ray transmissions and I think that would be pretty cool just have half a planet set up with ray receivers and uh, producing photons so that we have star artificial stars uh, coming out was our wazoo basically so yeah um, so yeah, th this is going to be the final episode of this series. Because we're not going to finish this. It's not going to happen. I had a long think about it. And while I would love to build a full Dyson Sphere, and we are going to build a full Dyson Sphere, it's not going to happen in this series. We're going to do it in a... A stream series and, and, and we're gonna do it so that we basically whenever we want to build some something we start with the end product say how many do I need of this end product and then we'll set up a production line for that so for instance graviton lenses we need 30 no actually 15 graviton lenses a second for green science if we want to produce 30 green science a second so we'll set up 15 graviton lenses a second for green science but we need it for uh, space warpers as well so how many uh, space warpers a second do we want we'll set up another production line for that we need it for the ray receivers. How many do we want for that? We'll set up a production line for that. So we'll have production lines specific to the end product. And that that's how I am going to do it uh, moving forward. And I think I also want to set it up so that we actually, even though this is a very nice stream of uh, solar sails. I think I'll probably double it in the in the in the stream, but, and have more. Well, we we don't need more rockets going because they they complete the things so fast. So the same amount of rockets, but double the amount of solar panels, and we'll we'll get the Dyson spheres built a lot faster. And I think that will be pretty darn great. So yeah, let me know what you think uh, of that idea. Uh, 
the stream will be on Sundays and I am in Bangkok. So that would be from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. my time, which would be in Europe. I guess now we're in summertime. So that would be 12 to 12 to 2 in uh, Central European time. And I guess Ten, ten or eleven GMT time. I'm actually not sure about that. And then in the US, I have no freaking clue. Because uh, you, you're, you do summer solstice times at different times than we do in Europe, and where I am in Bangkok, we don't have a have a summer solstice time. It's very confusing. It's very confusing. It really is, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, uh, I'll pre-plan the uh, the streams so that you guys know when they are. And uh, if you're awake, then uh, I hope you'll come join. And if you're not awake, then uh, I hope you have sweet dreams. So yeah, this is the end of this Dyson Sphere series. I know in the last one I said we'd finish the Dyson Sphere and stuff, but I just feel like we could have done a lot better in this one. We could have done a lot better in this one. And we could be much more efficient and it's just not, it's just not. Uh, satisfying to finish it up this way I really don't feel like it so we'll start a new one in a stream it'll be on Sundays uh, from I guess it'll be 12 to 17 yeah so so around 12 o'clock uh, CET on Sundays and we'll run for two hours every Sunday and and that's that's what we're going for so yeah thank you for uh, for watching the series thanks for the likes and so on and um, I really appreciate it it really helps me out a lot that you guys are watching and liking and commenting and so on. It's it's wonderful. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and see you hopefully in the stream on Sunday. Bye-bye.